Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problems regarding the RH table. So the given given problem is like this. Here the question is the question is analyze the table. So we will write the question here. Better to write the question. Analyze the analyze the explain analyze the explain and find the rh table this is the question so in this question first we will analyze the given s plane so if you observe here in this given s plane first point you have to analyze for anything look at the number of sign changes first number of sign changes here look at number of sign changes is 1 and if you look at there is symmetric pole symmetric poles about origin this is plus j and minus j so we can write r o z row of 0 we will get row of 0 is 1 and generally the we have some pole so here If you observe here we will write sign changes below sign changes of rz roz sign changes below we, we have we should get sign changes below roz because we have one pole but here we have one pole we will get some sign change we will check which which is below rz or above rz okay sign changes we will check here so first we will write the characteristic equation so here the char characteristic equation is we have this is a one pole thus that is we can write s minus j we have another pole that is s plus j and we have the one pole that is s minus one is equals to zero so this s plus j and s minus j we have s square plus 1 i think s square plus 1 and here the other pole is s minus 1 if you substitute here we will have the s cube and the minus s square plus s and the minus 1 is equals to 0 right yeah so we will substitute here finally we have the equation s cube minus s square plus s minus 1 is equals to 0 so now we will draw the rh table so here we have the rh table so in this the maximum power is s cube and next s square next is s power 1 next is the s power 0 just write the these things this first is 1 and the another one is the so another one is the minus one here yes another one is the minus one here because we have here yeah another one is the minus one here and next is the plus one another one is the minus one right so by doing this we have we will get directly minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 we will have directly we will get the 0 directly and the remaining pole is we have the minus 1 here so we are we have the roz here we are getting this is the table so wherever we have the row of 0 so this is you know that this is the row of 0 whenever you have the row of 0 just you write the auxiliary equation for above so we should i should take the auxiliary equation is like this that is minus s square and minus 1 then differentiate this auxiliary equation i will get auxiliary equation i will get minus 2s so that's why you have minus 2s here in place of here we am writing here minus 2 okay so i am just writing the minus 2 the remaining is the here the minus 1 
now you observe here so number of sign changes look at here here the sign change is 1 and this is above ROZ sign changes directly we can tell above ROZ by the principle but what about this here minus 1 is there here minus 2 is there sign change is 0 here minus 2 is there minus 2 is 0 that's fine we have one sign change that's why we have the first we right hand pole is right side and there is no sign change below ROZ that's why the remaining two poles are available in the imaginary axis okay so that is the procedure you have to follow then you will understand the most important thing is R below ROZ so below ROZ whenever you have the below ROZ sign change below ROZ is available then automatically uh, symmetricity of right hand poles right hand poles have symmetricity so is there any symmetricity no whenever sign change is above ROZ then symmetricity on symmetricity we have an imaginary axis so that's why symmetricity we have the imaginary axis okay go for the next problem so here if you look at the problem there is a directly we have same look at here at this point we have three poles one two three and at this we have again three poles at one point so we can write so the first point is first point I can write the right the first point what is the right point number of sign changes is there any number of sign changes so whenever we have number of sign changes and automatically we have right hand poles there is no right hand poles directly we can tell sign changes is zero second and the second point is ROZ how many how many ROZs just look at here the ROZs are three approximately one one ROZ two and three how ROZ is three how it is ROZ the repeated poles are available first we have two poles next two poles next two poles so ROZs are three so is there any sign change uh, from this I can write the auxiliary equation order equal so we have three ROZs the order value is the six and the next point sign changes there is no sign changes so there is no sign changes below ROZ okay number of sign changes below ROZ is zero generally okay so whenever he is given like this just you can write directly ROZ three ROZs one ROZ for two poles another for two four another for two poles then complete ROZ are three then we will get the auxiliary equation order is six and look at the number of sign changes so is there any sign change there is no sign change directly we can take is it stable system no unstable system how it is unstable system whenever repeated poles in the imaginary axis look at here there is a at this one point we have three poles at this one point we have the three poles that's why it is a unstable system the reason is repeated poles on imaginary axis imaginary axis okay so this is the one type of model and the next the next is he is not mentioned anything just if you observe here these two are right hand side pole symmetricity okay the first point you can write how many how many row objects row object is only one because there is no repeated poles directly so the row of z is directly i can write one and any sign changes sign changes is so generally like i can write the sign change this is for one sign change this is for another sign change this is for another sign change this is for another sign change 
So number of sign changes I can write is 4. Number of sign changes is 4 directly. Um, then how can we tell number of sign changes below ROZ and number of sign changes below ROZ. Number of sign changes below ROZ. So just look at here. These two poles are symmetric about the left hand poles. Whenever right hand poles are symmetric about the right hand poles, then sign changes below is possible. Then we have the number of sign changes below ROZ is 2. And what about remaining poles? Remaining poles are already formed, but it is above ROZ. So here, number of sign changes above ROZ is equals to 2. Okay. So first look at how many symmetric poles are there. Then look at how ROZ, how, how, how ROZ is formed. Just write down. Next, number of sign changes. Whenever right hand poles are available, then number of sign changes also possible. And number of sign changes uh, with respect to left hand side is there. Just look at here. These two poles are symmetric about left hand. Then right. And number of sign changes above ROZ is 2. If the poles in imaginary axis, there is no, it complete have above ROZ. Complete have above ROZ. But it has the ROZ is available. Okay. So these are the different different of models and these are very much useful to understand the ROZ and symmetricity, symmetric about the origin and, and above ROZ and below ROZ. Okay. Below ROZ is always we have right hand poles above ROZ and the imaginary axis. Okay. I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.